So I'm here with MH and we're going to learn a little bit about, um, well, deportment, is it? Yeah, deportment as well as a little bit of meeting and greeting and some elocution. Okay, and uh, we're going to start with the... Meeting and greeting. That would make sense. Yeah, it would. <laughs> okay. Good place to start. Why do we shake hands? Do you know the history behind shaking hands? I do know this. Was it okay. to initially show people that you were unarmed? Exactly right. So you're not carrying a gun, you're not carrying a knife. Also, if you have sweaty palms, um, you, there are ways of slightly minimising the impact of that, and that is by simply rubbing your palm against your trouser leg. Okay, so here we go. Let's have a little practice. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Lovely. How long would One you normally time? leave the Two handshake? and a half. Two and a half, okay. So it's two, and then the half is to indicate that you're about to release. So it's quite a subconscious thing that we do. Sure. Um, the other thing is, as a spy, you might be required to travel around the world. Um, so you need to know how to respond to people if they're greeting you in a different way, other than a handshake. So in Japan, the greeting is a bow. Perfect. That is a perfect Japanese bow. So now we're going to look at your deportment. Remembering that 93% of communication is non-verbal. Um, and I'm going to sort of prod you a little, um, just to kind of make sure that the right muscles are in the right place. So first of all, this tummy. Yep. Okay, that needs to be... Do you have a six-pack? Uh, getting there. Getting there. It's a three-pack It's at a the three-pack at the moment. Well, that's good. You're halfway there. Okay. At the same time, you want to have your bottom tight as well. Okay, exactly right. It makes you stand up straight. The shoulders need to be down, which is lovely. Your hands should be down by your side. Remember to tighten your bottom muscles. Okay, and They're walk really back again. Right Are they really tight? <laughs> Jolly good. So we're now going to ask you to balance a book on your head. Okay, so you might want to try and balance it yourself. If you All use right. your, your arms to balance it on, so you can find the sweet spot on your head. And the turn is the hard part, so nice and slowly keeping that posture. Very well done. Excellent. We're going to replace that now with a top hat. Um, so I'm going to ask you to, to, to wear the top hat, but also to use an umbrella. At the same time? At the same time. And the way you walk with an umbrella, I'll just demonstrate just a couple of steps for you, is you swing the umbrella so it's just ahead of your step. So the next stage of the uh, process is to have a look at your elocution. And we're going to start from the rain in Spain, because that's the <laughs> most famous sentence in all of elocution. The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain. The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain. Well done. I play polo solo in Acapulco. I play polo solo in Acapulco. Well done. Betty Butter bought a bit of better butter. <laughs> okay. Off you go. Betty Butter bought a bit of better butter. Well done. I'm only plucking pheasants till the pheasant pluck has come. Ooh, that's dangerous. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm only plucking pheasants till the pheasant pluck has come. Well done. I'm a sheet slitter. If sheets need slitting, <laughs> sheets I slit. <laughs> so, I'm a sheet slitter. If sheets need slitting, sheets I slit. Very well done. Excellent. So, do you think I would pass as a Kingsman? You most definitely would. As you know, manners maketh man. And you certainly are a Kingsman. Congratulations. Thank you. Well done. My pleasure. I'll have a martini, gin not vodka, stirred for 10 seconds whilst glancing at an unopened bottle of vermouth. Ah. Thank you. Perfect. There you have it. I've spent the day at the Kingsman Academy becoming a Kingsman, learning how to be a gentleman, suited, booted, ready to go. To the shop, please.